Hello there, it's day 16 of telling raw stories every single day. Today's prompt is blunders. And I like to talk about a blunder I made in one of my illustrations. So Jim Carrey had a quote, life doesn't happen to you, life happens for you. And I love that quote, just by making a little change in the words. He changed how I perceived life and its problems. And I thought that, hey, could I show that with a visual? Of course I can. <laughs> and that's why I made this, Life Happens For You. Now, when I was creating this visual, I thought that this was really clever um, because, hey, I am only making a tiny tweak in this statement just by adding a letter R, making a modification on the letter T, and showing the change by contrasting the red and the blue. I thought that this would make a clever, <laughs> a clever change to that statement. And I was pretty proud of it. You know, uh, oh, by the way, if you have not thought of it, when I talk about visuals, it's always about the visual experience more than the aesthetics of things. Um, it doesn't matter if it's in graphs or charts. It doesn't matter if it's in, you know, metaphorical or analogical approach where I draw something more fancy. It really doesn't matter. The, the whole point of having an illustration is to create the visual experience that drives home the message. So that's what I thought I was doing with this illustration until <laughs> when I actually looked at it on my phone. And when you look at a visual on the phone, it's really zoomed out. It's small. Something along the size like this. And I realized the blunder I made. Because when it's so small, that um, the colors really don't stand out. I'm fortunate that this statement really still makes sense. Life happens for you and it still does make people think. And well, I, I had decent audience response, about 1,400 likes and I guess some responses here. Um, but it really isn't the visual experience I wanted to create for people. I wanted people to realize that you should remove or change something, maybe change the language in this case, to help you have a more positive experience, to change your perspective. And I went to revise this. This original illustration was published on the 25th March, 2023. About one year later, I made this revision. 24 February, life happens for you. And this is super clear. Even if you zoom it out um, to a really small uh, size, you can see that, hey, there's a strike through to signal that the original statement is wrong or at least incorrect. And then you want to replace it or insert the correction. It's not that life happens to you. Life happens for you. And I personally think that as a visual experience, this works more. Um, I may have made a second blunder. I don't know <laughs> because the number of likes fell down to 788. And there are too many factors at play here to for me to realize what um, actually made the reduction in the number of likes and engagement. It could be that I added more, more thoughts here. It could be the algorithms have changed. It could be the design, you know, the people, people the, or the audience on the internet, people like you watching this, <laughs> you do not agree or you do not like this experience. Now, why did I feel like this is important? Well, I personally suffer from um, color deficiency. So actually when I had this image, when it's small, even at this size, the color difference didn't really stand out to me. So I, I wanted to make sure that the, the change really stood out. But anyway, um, measurements like likes, comments, follows, they are helpful indicators, but seriously, they are often just um, superficial level. 
I think that in this case, all I could do the the best measure of um, success or change or intention is is really what I wanted to do and what kind of effects that I can perceive from the work itself and from what people say of the their experience. But hey, if you have an opinion, if you have uh, any thoughts about these two versions, I'll be happy to hear from you. <laughs> and. That's my story of a blunder today. It's a lighthearted one, no serious consequence. But that's my story for the day, and I will see you tomorrow.